Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to the Mars Lighthouse in Golden Sun, where we're about to leave. Because, screw Prox, we need to get our side quest on. And we have the power of teleport! Now, here's the thing about this. There's a very good reason I waited until now to do all sorts of- Yeah, check that out. To do all sorts of backtracking. I sort of just did the mandatory stuff to get good equipment. You see, teleport, in addition to being able to teleport on those different paths, also has an additional function. If I go and do this on the world map, I can teleport to any town I've ever been to. So you know, that's pretty good. We are gonna start off with... Mikasa. Why the hell here? Well... Because there's actually a thing here that we can do. I believe in the inn. Oh, maybe not. No, maybe I have the wrong town. Wait, wait a second. I totally have the wrong town. But, there is something I should point out first while I'm here. We teleported, and our ship is way over here now. Admittedly, the placement of these things is not always great, like it should probably be here, but when you teleport, the ship does come with you. Uh, in some ma in a manner of speaking. No, we actually want to go to El Helfra, is the place I want to go to. So, let's teleport again. I don't think I even get anything from this, it's just such a good scene that I want- and it's actually this one I've never seen before. I know it was here- I know it's here, but I've never actually watched it before myself, so I'm quite interested to see what it turn- how it turns out. Uh, if I can find the end. Wait, is it over here? Yes! Yes it is. Then up here will be... Legend says that the Crossbone Isle could be found in the middle of the Caragol Sea. Ah, uh, Crossbone Isle? Wait, did you, you say could? Is it not there anymore or something? Well, it's still there, but there's no point in going! Someone named Isaac picked it clean! All of it. Yeah, and apparently he even defeated the ancient ghost pirate protecting it! What about the stories? If you could be the ghost pirate, you'd become the leader of all pirates! Well, you see, this means Isaac's our leader now. I'll bet. Oh yeah, definitely. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's great. Of course, if we told him we knew who Isaac was, they probably wouldn't believe us. What? But he's just a kid! Isaac's six feet tall! No, seven feet tall! And 300 pounds! <laughs> Actually, while I'm here, I should probably use the end. Oh, those prices. They are magic. For my next trick, I shall teleport again! I- I have those forgeable things, so... I think I'll go- I'll go and deal with those. Uh, no. Force is not- Force is not correct. I'm pretty sure this will put my ship on the far bottom end. Basically where I was parking, parking it before, when I didn't realize I could boat up the river. Oh, I'm on this side. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, it's totally in the river. The game knows I can do that. Just I don't. <laughs> okay, then. No, I need to go this way. And save my game. Don't want any repeats. Yeah, make me something amazing with this. And not another helmet, please. I mean, I think the helmet is pretty amazing, but also I already have one. 
I don't need more than one of the same cursed item. They're cursed, you know, like, only one person can wear them, period. And for that matter, it's kind of difficult to actually change around their equipment once they start wearing them. Uh, yeah. What'd I get? Okay, that is more headgear. You have given me headgear. Good headgear, but also cursed. I cannot use this. I already have cur cursed headgear, and I'm never going to give a caster cursed equipment because it's pretty much better on a physical attacker. So, round two. Give me something better, please. Or, well, something... Let me rephrase that, actually, because it's not that that was a bad circle, it was that it was not useful. So give me something useful. It doesn't need to be amazing, although I would love for it to be amazing. But as a cursed we piece of equipment, it should be... It should be wearable by a... Well, by Felix. It should be not a helmet. And... It should be good. I already have one of those. Take three. If we don't get it this time, I will actually just cut until I get a piece of equipment that I want. From the dark matter. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. So, hopefully this time is it. Because I would... I, my preference is doing less cutting. It, it is easier to edit the video that way. I mean... Usually I have a better video when I do cut stuff, so... It's not like I'm not going to cut anything if I don't need to. Okay, well, I'll see you when I actually get something that's not headgear. Okay, we got it! The Dark Sword. That has more damage potential than the Soul Blade, I mean... As previously stated, I know for a fact that Megado is the strongest unleash in the game, so it probably won't actually deal as much damage, but... Well, anyway, we will file that over here. Uh, now that we finally have that... Let's do the Oryakalkin, which I will be uh, significantly less picky about. As long as you give me something I can put on one of my front four characters, I'll be happy. Uh, although, having said that, I would very much prefer to not get a longsword. Because, well... Well, because the Soul Blade will be better. So, if you give me a weapon, give me something that the casters can use. That is not something the casters can use. It is worse than the Soul Blade. And... Well, it's better than what Isaac's using, but Isaac is probably going to be using the Soul Blade before much longer. Before too much longer. So... Yeah, we can't really keep that either. I mean, I guess I could keep it. I mean, frankly, I'm tired of reloading. I want to go do something else. I can just give it to someone else. And I haven't given you the Soul Blade yet. So, we'll just keep it. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't really care that much. I really don't. Do you have a Light Blade? Definitely not. Uh, you have a... no. Okay, well that's 13, that's 8, that's... Quite a lot more. Garrett it is. Although this is not really great weapon for Garrett, but I guess this thing is just not that good. Right, I need to go sell some equipment. Some not cursed equipment. I would never unload cursed actually no, I've already unloaded a lot of cursed equipment onto the market, haven't I? I no, I actually want to keep the cursed stuff. If that is not yet clear. The, re the only reason I haven't yet equipped it is because, as, as previously stated, it is kind of hard to take off once you put it on. Once I start putting equip- uh, uh, once I start putting cursed equipment on someone, they'll be stuck with whatever I give them until I revisit a town. Which is not the end of the world, but 
is not really ideal either. Especially in a case like this where I could... Where I can reasonably expect to get a better, um... I'm about to go do like a whole lot of side quests and bonus dungeons, basically. And post-game type stuff. I can reasonably expect to find some armor that is better. Or, rather, some weapon that is better than this. That is to say, a cursed weapon that is better than this. At least I think I can. I don't actually... Other than the Soul Blade, I don't actually know specifically which weapons are the best endgame ones. So... Maybe I should look that up. Hmm. Well, anyway. Uh... Yeah. There. That's there, that's there, that's there. Okay, we're good. Let's get out of here. Our next spot is somewhere we've been before. We will be going to... Uh... Can I tell... No, I can't actually teleport there. Okay, we're going to Poji Islands, apparently! But we're, we're actually going to the Sea of Time Islet. Because there's stuff there. Stuff we can get with teleport! And also, I it turns out I lied about that boss thing, because there is... Every place we're going to now, as far as I know, has its own boss. And this one I'm probably gonna do without... Um, this one I'm probably gonna do without changing around my Ginny. I might actually just summon rush it anyway, but I'm not gonna change around my Ginny. It's not, it's not that hard of a boss. I need mind read powers for this. Mind read powers activate! Yes, yes I do. Actually, did I already get a genie here? Well, even if I did, there's another one. In the teleportation section, Which is like way back here. There's Totsujini. I think. Okay, well, this looks interesting. Or at least according to my notes with the Ginny. I mean, there better be, frankly. Yeah, no, that's kind of overput kill, dude. Little bit. I'm a little bit disappointed that Shiba could not one-shot that, but, you know, whatever. I guess these are stronger enemies than I initially gave them credit for being. Not strong enough to survive Megado, obviously, but then again, few things are. Now, can I have, like, a shorter encounter rate, please? WONDERBIRD! Okay, remember when I was talking about the best grinding thing? Yo. So, what I'm gonna do is... not kill it, because I wanted to summon another one. So, I'm gonna buff myself up, basically. <laughs> And hopefully that works out. Hopefully it doesn't run away, is what I should be saying. Because it can totally summon another bird. That does not do it, though. That doesn't do it either. Look, I'll give you one more chance. Oh, you have three actions. I guess I was acting, asking for stronger enemies, so I shouldn't complain, but... Okay, uh... Let's do high impact again! Because reasons! Let's do resist again, because that's actually a good idea, and let's do wish well.
Okay, the reason I'm buffing attack power, incidentally, is because after it summons a bird, I'm going to want to basically try to kill it right away. Having said that, I have limited patience for this, and I'm not going to stick around for too much longer if it doesn't summon another bird. Yeah. I don't really care that much. I know where to find you, so... You can just eat Megado now. Remember, it is Earth synergy. It is Earth based, no matter what it looks like. And I just one shot it with Megado. One bird over eight thousand experience, and it can totally. If you're fighting more than one, they can revive each other. I thought they summoned each other as well. Now I feel less confident than that, but I might have just been unlucky. do that, heal myself up, save my game, because there's probably something scary behind the door. Oh no, it's just more hallway. And more Wonderbird! I missed. Okay. That's annoying. Hammer space is still hilarious. And... Meh. Nah, kind of meh. Okay, the bird just tried to run away. I am not really happy about that. But there's not really much I can do about it, because I'm not going to attack it until the dragon is dead. Which this will probably do. Megado kind of kills things. Pretty efficiently. <laughs> I mean, if you're not going to revive, or your friend, or call any allies, I'm just going to kill you. With Megado. Because, you know, it's it's the thing to do. Over 9,000 experience. Yeah, this is the place to grind. Oh, I just got Nettle. Okay, then. Uh, I need to actually heal a bunch. There, that should do it. A bunch. Okay, I need to make sure... Oh, well, I probably didn't need to be so observant then. <laughs> I was gonna say I need to be observant to make sure I don't miss this, but now that I'm actually here, it seems pretty obvious. Uh, Tremor! Oh, I guess I'm not... Maybe... No, I can't stand in front of it, so... Tremor! No. Can I... Come on... It is Tremor, right? Like, it's not... Force? Obviously not. Do I just need to stand out of the way? Like, that could be a thing. Right, you just one-shot the worm. I mean, yeah, the little one-shot the worm. Um, <laughs> alright. Uh, but... Did not kill the demon. Well, it's fine. I'll just need to hit it with Megado, or not. Okay, let's just try to do it from a, not blocking it, maybe? I mean, no, that didn't do it. Uh, I'm quite sure I need to use Tremor to knock the damn thing down, but... What if I use Carry? <laughs> Obviously not. I mean, it's shaking. It has to be Tremor, right? Like, what else could it be? What else could it be? Not Pound, uh, probably not, wait, Cyclone? Right. No, uh, I mean, I doubt it's Lift. Nope. Hmm. Wasn't there somewhere I could catch an apple? Oh man, I need to remember where that was. I have the power of catch now, I need to use it. I, I'll worry about it later though. Okay, that didn't do it either. Still not items. I mean, I'm doing this, but let's be honest, I know it is freaking Quake, so... Tremor, whatever. Oh, I need to stand behind it? 
Well, that's pretty unintuitive. Whatever, the genie's here. Save my game. Kill. Uh, well, eat the genie. Scrumptious -ch diddly umptious in my belly. And then only two to go. Water Genie, so I want fire attacks, you're gonna just regular attack, you're gonna use eruption, you are going to do basically nothing. Um giant plasma, I guess. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't run away, because I'm gonna it's probably gonna take me two turns to kill it. I didn't get a Megado. Well, it didn't run away, so I think we're good. And now I'm literally just gonna attack it with everyone. Oh, I was hoping I'd get a Megado, but it apparently didn't matter. Like at all. We got Serac. What does Sarek do? I have no idea. Chilling finishing blow. I bet that actually never works out. Oh wait, what? Uh, that's... I'll take it! That does seem to imply, though. Uh... Okay, no, that's actually bad. Exactly one Water Genie is, act is what Pierce wants. Go figure. But I do want this on Ivan as well. Wait, no. No, his last thing is actually on Earth. So this actually works out perfectly. Better than I thought it would, to be sure. Uh, let's heal. And... I do not have time to fight a boss, so I'm gonna stop up here. Join me next time when we complete the wherever the hell we are aisle. The Sea of Time Isle. Until then, this has been Cast Balloon. Have a great day. Bye! Uh, oh. I, I don't have... I don't have... Just a sec. Bye! <laughs>